Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you could use Lightroom to make an existing light portrait pop. Let's face it, when we're taking portraits in existing light, we're often stuck with the light. We don't have any external lights to relight the subject or to relight the scene, so we get what we get. But now, with the new masking tools found in Lightroom, we could really relight the portrait in post-production and make the subject pop. And that's what we're going to be doing with this image. And I want you to keep something in mind. Typically, when someone looks at an image, they're going to tend to look at the brighter areas of the image before they look at the darker areas of the image. Also, they'll tend to look at the more colorful parts of the image before they look at the less colorful parts of the image. And finally, they're going to look at the more in-focus parts of the image compared to the less focused parts of the image. Now, that focus uh, factor is usually done in camera, so you shoot at a wider aperture, and hopefully you could get a nice bokeh on the background and then that would make the subject pop off the background but not all of us can afford those really you know f1.4 or 1.2 lenses or maybe the scene isn't such that you want to shoot that wide you want to shoot you know uh you know shut down a little bit and in those cases we could do this in post-production now with this image here um, it's pretty evenly lit. The background is pretty much the same brightness level as the subject. So what I want to do is I want to darken down the background and brighten up the subject. I also want to maybe suck a little color out of the background and maybe even blur it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the masking tool in Lightroom and we're going to select the subject. So I'm let it select the subject and it did a really great job selecting the subject. But I do want to work on the background first. So what I'm going to going to do is I'm going to invert. I'll click right here and click on invert. So now we have the background selected. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the brightness down. Now you can see already she's standing out from the background better. Then that other factor I mentioned is they'll tend to look at the more colorful part of an image as opposed to the less colorful part of the image. So I'm going to take some saturation away from the background. Now I don't want to make it black and white. I just want to take some saturation away from the background just subtly, and even if a person's looking at it, they may not notice that the background is less saturated, but subconsciously they probably will. Now, I also want to blur it a little. Now, with Lightroom, there's really not any blur tools like there are in Photoshop, but you can go to Clarity, and you could pull Clarity to the left, and you could see how that does a little bit of a blur and texture as well. So we've kind of given it more of a subtle blur. Already, I think you'll agree, I'll close this down, that if I do a before, after, there's before, there's after, before, after, she's already standing out better from the background. But I still want to do a little more. So I'm going to go to these masking tools again. I'm going to create a new mask, and I'm going to select the subject again. But this time, I'm not going to invert it. What I want to do is I want to make her slightly brighter. And... Another factor you got to keep in mind, I mentioned those three factors, you know, the brightness, you know, people look at the brighter areas over the dark areas, the more colorful areas over the less colorful areas, the more in focus areas over the less focus areas. Another thing is micro contrast. People will tend to look at something that has a little more micro contrast to it as opposed to something with less micro contrast. This kind of goes hand in hand with the focus a little bit. But what we could do now is kind of give her subtle shading on her face a little bit and her hair. So I'm going to just darken down the blacks a little bit and open up the whites a little bit. So I'm kind of adding more contrast to her face and hair doing that. And that will tend to make people look at that area a little more. You can mess around with the shadows a little bit too and see if that helps one way or another. Um, you could try to add contrast with the actual contrast slider. I usually don't like to do that too much with portraits, but actually that's looking pretty good. And then... I want to make her just a little more colorful, so I'm going to move saturation slightly to the right. You want to be careful with this, uh, because if you go too far, it just doesn't look right. 
So just subtly, very subtly, uh, like that. Now, her hair looks maybe a little funky over here because it's kind of spilling off into the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract from the mask. If I turn the overlay on, you can see how the mask is hitting part of the background through her hair. So we're going to subtract, and we're going to get a brush. And then I'll just keep the brush uh, feathering at 100, flow and density at 100. And we're going to be subtracting it. And I'll just kind of feather it in here like this around her, her hair a little bit. So we get kind of a natural fall off, a more natural fall off. We could turn the overlay off so that it looks a little better. And I'd say we're done. Uh, so let me give you, there's the before and there's the after. See how she pops now off the page before, after. Let's do another one. This one was more low key, a little darker. Let's do one that's a little brighter. In this one, she's not kind of popping off the background. She's wearing a brighter top and the background's brighter. So let's do pretty much the same thing with this one. Let's open up the masking tools and let's select the subject. Now I want to work on the background first. Now it didn't select part over here, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. What I'm going to do is I'll invert it now. But now, because I inverted it, it selected this. I don't want what I'm going to adjust to affect this in the foreground. So I'm going to subtract and get a brush. And we'll just take it away from this area here. And maybe up in here, maybe the chair she's sitting on. We'll take it all away from there. Okay. Now we're affecting that background. I want to make it darker. So we'll make this one considerably darker, compared to the other one at least. And I want to take up, take away some of the saturation, like that. And already, I think, you know, she's popping out pretty good. There's before, and there's after, before, after. All right, now um, I'm going to get another one, mask, and we're going to select the subject. Now I have the subject selected, but it didn't select over here, so I need to add to this mask with a brush. So we're going to add this part here. Make sure it's all added. Nice. All right. Now, here, I don't think I want to add any more exposure. That just doesn't look right. But what I want to do is add maybe some contrast. And we'll go, again, this micro contrast I mentioned. We're going to do that. We'll make her hair a little darker. Um, even her face, though, I don't like those highlights on her face. They're a little too bright, so I'm going to bring those down. And maybe we could add a little texture. Helps her hair. We'll go to saturation, and we'll add a bit of saturation, not that much. And I think that looks better. So let's do a before after on this. Let me close this down. And there's before, and there's after. There's before. And there's after. So you could see, I think she's standing out a little more. I might have made the background just a little bit too dark. But what you could do is you could go back to that mask. Just make sure that you're affecting the background. And then you could uh, maybe just readjust it. Just a little brighter. She's still standing out well overall. And there's before. And there's after. So that's how you go about making an environmental portrait or a lifestyle portrait or an existing light portrait pop using Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>